the way I work is quite uh, it's quite physical so it's constant energy that's needed when I'm making the paintings as Jeremy was saying to me the other day I'm a bit of a troublemaker with my paintings I search for trouble and make problems for myself and then push them further and further every painting there should be a different solution I lose interest if there's any sort of formula or a set way of resolving the problems. I mean, when you're working, when you're painting, you're moving around all day, I mean, I play a lot of sport and it's equally as exhausting. I like to be working on more than one thing at once, so, you know, you're working in between and jumping around from painting to painting. It's your right as a painter to be able to make a painting that somehow reflects how you feel that particular day. So if one day you want to make a painting that's, let's say, more sensitive painting or more subtle painting, and the next day you want to come in and make something that's totally the opposite, that's completely bold or flat, then working on more than one at the same time allows you to do different things. And you can maybe do, you, you don't feel a pressure to do everything on one painting. You can do different things in different paintings. There can be a bit of a tendency to get obsessive with one painting. And when you're searching for the individual solution, if you're just working on one painting at a time, the painting becomes a bit sort of self-centered. You can't stop thinking about anything else. And sometimes you have to sort of go around the side a little bit. Sometimes you create a solution on one painting that can be taken to another. You learn things from one that can be taken to another painting and you make mistakes that you won't make again on another painting. For me, painting is like chasing a ball. I saw this at one point, I remember it very specifically when I realized this. And I always see this ball as a very, very bright pink ball. And this ball is made up of all your desires, all your influences, all your interests, all your fears, everything. Everything that you gain and lose through, through life. And for me, painting is like chasing that ball. But of course, as you move and the world around you moves, that ball changes and it rolls away from you. And you never quite get it. You never quite get it. The closest you come is to getting a finger on it. You feel like you're gonna get it and then it's gone, it moves away from you. And if you stop working, it's gone miles away. It's gone absolutely miles away and you have to search all over the place before you even get a sight of it. So for me, painting is like this constant chase, constant chase to sort of represent this, this ball.